Hello gang, hello friends, hello gang friends, welcome back, thank you for joining, I sound so surprised, welcome back, can't believe you're here again, um, thanks for joining me today, my name is Jo, um, we're going to, uh, hello, do some nail stuff. <laughs> I just went to speak and nothing came out. Hello, we've got some, um, <laughs> just silence, just staring at the screen with my mouth open. We've got some Madame Glam stuff to, we, I do have some Madame Glam stuff to show you. Um, you can get money off using the link in the description and the code MissJo30 and Madame Glam. A whopping 30%, can you believe? So we had, calm down. Everybody calm down. <laughs> so I'm going to show you the colours. The names are on the bottles um, and this is called the House of, wait, I've got a page open because I knew I'd forget. Oh, House of Change, House of Change. Oh, because of the change of season and they're autumnally, seasonally appropriate polishes, polishes, that's the word. Um, okay, that makes sense, House of Change. I get, why, did that, why did that not click before? Oh my word, look at this glitter. Oh, it's bananas. Um, I've suddenly come over a bit hyper. As soon as I press record, I get a bit sort of like nervous energy of like, you know. Um, and also the fact that I've just realised that I have about three days work to do tonight. Um, so if I speak quickly, then the voiceover will get done quickly. It will make 27 minutes happen in four minutes. And then I can crack on with some other shit. Um, these glitters in this uh, collection are so freaking good. Freaking with a, an apostrophe at the end and no G. They're freaking good. They're so sparkly. Um, I hope, I think they're coming across on camera how sparkly they are. I've had to whack the brightness up a bit. Oh, look at moon dust. Stop it. Um, I've had to whack the brightness up a bit because I like to film in the dark and watch creepy weird stuff um <laughs> whilst filming in the dark um so that's the last one we're going to do one stroke swatching just like that that's oh that's what i was going to say they are um i'm clicking more because i've forgotten the word they used oh yes syrup so they're five syrup gels and three glittery gels so they they're good for like a sort of translucent finish or two coats and you get a normal finish. Do you see? Did you see that? Did that was that reflected in the in the super quick swatching? Um, but I have done two coats of all of them um, so that we can see see them at their full whatever opacity opacity. There we go. Um, so that is them, and you can get money off uh, using the link. In the description and the code Miss Jo Thirty. Look at them; they're so beautiful. I like them a lot. We're going to start this set with c -c -c cream donut. Did that say? I think yes. We're going to do five, all five nails with this as the background color. And the first one, we're going to do the easiest leaves ever: flowers, leaves, that sort of you know, flora and fauna. Not really my not really my drawing forte so easy easy flowers and easy leaves are, are, are my vibe <laughs> so we're just doing two curves doesn't matter if they are even on both sides because are leaves perfectly symmetrical i bet they fucking are aren't they well they're not today not here they're not these are autumn leaves so they crumbled a bit you know some bits have fallen off doesn't matter if they're symmetrical or not so we've done two in the middle so that our pattern has sort of front and center main event. And then we're just doing some coming off the sides. I'm using the brown gel paint here, but you can use whatever you want just to get the shape. Uh, and then we cured that. I'm going to calm down. Calm down. Okay. The people who don't like my erratic, nervous ramblings have probably left anyway. So um, I'll just carry on. <laughs> We're taking Miss Dorothy 
and the that's not from the collection but it is one of their polishes and focus from the collection and we, we've popped them half and half on the leaf and i'm using the ultra liner just to blend them together you'll see the second you touch the red it kind of completely overpowers the yellow so um i wiped my br brush uh, brush not i didn't clean the brush i just wiped it on the palette and then sort of started from the yellow again and pulled down but again the second you touch the red it kind of takes over but i'm not overly fussed about oh, i'm just adding some more yellow i'm not overly fussed about getting a perfect ombre here um just kind of a rough blend of them together will suffice like that and then on the next one we're going to do the orange which is called magnetic is it yes yes it is um, and we're going to do that and then the yellow which is called focus and they'll blend easier because they're closer together than red and yellow so it's an easier blend see kind of happens by itself so just to squiggle around don't fret about getting a perfect ombre doesn't matter they're crunchy dying leaves we're drawing death today nature's death oh that's a bit depressing no we're drawing pretty autumn autumn leaves oh look at that for a transition <gasps> i know i'm getting good at those <laughs> um so we did all of them some orange to yellow some red to yellow and then cured and now we're taking night on mars double checks yes and we're going to put most of it at the dark end the darker end of the leaf the leafies leaf i was looking for leafy leafy and just sort of fade it into the yellow and then cure and now we are matte topping super easy to fade glitters that are in a clear sort of base color so we've matte topped velvet topped actually with their velvet top coat and we're using the black gel paint because it doesn't need um, I was going to say curing. It does need curing. It doesn't need topping. But we're going to top these bits anyway. Um, but you don't have to if you want to keep it matte. But do the black. Always do gel paints on top if you can, I think. Depending on the situation. So not always. Um, <laughs> fucking hell. Um, because they don't need topping, it keeps them kind of bright. As opposed to having a matte top over them. So we've gone round the outsides and then round the outside, round the outside. And then a straight line down the centre and then just some little um, Vs, little lines either side of that. And then you have a sparkly ombre leaf. Super fudging easy, but you've got ombres and you've got sparkles and you've got detail. But it was a piece of cake, cake. So we did that on all of them and cured. And now we're going to shiny top just the leaves and that's it i think they look really effective i'm a little bit proud of them um <laughs> i think they look really effective but without really taking any kind of skill or too much concentration so that is i'm going to do that on two nails so the other one i'm going to try mirror and so the ones that are pointing um that way you know that way i'm pointing right now they're going to be pointing that way. I'm pointing the other way now. So that's them. I didn't know if you could see the glitter very well on camera. Um, but it's there. So we're going to do a crystal nail. So I'm taking the Selena Ryden nail cards. The crystal application expansion pack. And we're going to use this one. Um, and then you've got the different ways you can do with different colours. Um, either side. I think I'm going for that colour placement. But... Um, I'm not sure. I can't remember. Um, but also, I'm the. I haven't got the smaller size where she's got a smaller size. But that's okay. It still works out. So I'm taking the McCart rhinestone glue, putting far too much on. So you need to spread that shit out because um, it's just going to sw completely swallow the crystals. Otherwise, um, you can get money off at McCart as well. I'll put that on the screen. Um, I'll put it on for when the bottle was on screen. That will make the most sense. Um, and then we're going to not cure it. <laughs> we're going to do nothing. 
we're going to add all our crystals on. Um, these are from the autumnal mix from Crystal Parade. You can get money off there as well. I know, I'm too good to you. Uh, I'm not really, you guys are the best. You deserve it. Um, yeah, these are from Crystal Parade and they are so flinging, flanging, sparkly. Oh, sorry for the, the uh, horrific caviar bead editing. Um, they're so sparkly. I just can't get over how absolutely blingy the crystals are from Crystal Parade. I heart them. And look, Miss Jo's done a crystal pattern. I know. Get used to them. Now I've got that expansion pack. Crystal patterns galore. And it's great for when you're like, what should I do on this last nail? Oh, yeah. Frigging crystals, of course. So we cured the crystals and the caviar beads. And then I'm using the velvet top to go around everything. I don't, I'm trying not to go over the caviar beads, but I am going to go over them with clear after because I feel like they need a bit of extra support, these caviar beads. I feel like they can pick off easy. So I would use a detail brush, detailing brush to do this um, on a person, but there's no finger in the way, so I can just use the um, bottle brush. Bottle brush? Bottle brush. Bottle brush. Um, and then I cured that and now I'm going over the caviar beads with shiny top coat um, just to give them an extra seal in but also to make them shiny in case I did get any um, of the velvet I'm just flipping between the word matte and velvet for the top coat <laughs> just in case I got any of that on them then now they're shiny and just so for some more security but look how nice is that pattern See, it kind of looks like a simple pattern, but the caviar beads, that's that's the where the secret is as well. Just having three there and a little triangle or two there where normally I'd just go one will do. And now I've upped my game. Well, Selena Ryden's up to my game. <laughs> so this next one, we're going to do a fox. Super easy. Inspo name on the screen. It's not as good as hers, but that was inspo. So I've done a big curve. That's it. And then we'll join them with a shallow curve. Easy so far, right? Okay, you've got this. In the middle, we'll do another little curve. Just a little one. And then we're going to do some ears. So we're making little triangles, but just again, two little curves joining the big initial curve. Nice and easy. And then I thought, let's make this a bit sort of pointy at the sides. Like a, so it kind of comes down and dips from the top curve and but goes up a bit more from the bottom curve. See that dip there and now making that go up a bit. And then we have another curve that's coming over to the opposite side. And this will come sort of the same, almost parallel with it, but then curve round towards the other side. And then we do the tail, which is just a big um, curve. <laughs> helpful um just a sort of s back to front s and then the bottom of the tail will tail will um come off the page off the nail and then we've got a curve coming from either side of the head to the center that's our outline oh no we're not finished oh yes so from one side of the chin we'll come down a tiny bit and then out in a big curve to separate the red and the white that we're going to do and then we'll do some little v's for his tail and then a little there's going to be a line there we're going to paint over it but there, there will be one thereafter i mean when we outline <laughs> and now i'm going to do the same as i did with the leaves we're going to put red at the top and then down the side of our fox and we're going to ombre it into orange. This is a this is an optional step. You could just do all the orange bits, orange um, or red or whatever colour you want your fox to be. But I was just feeling a bit blendy, feeling a bit faffy. I wanted to faff like a fucking champion. So that's what we do. We're going to put the orange on. So I haven't cured the red. And we'll put the orange on. And you see I've done less red than orange I'm not doing it half and half because again the red will um, quickly overpower the orange so more orange than red and then we'll 
use the same brush. This is the Ultra Liner still. I, I'm living with that brush. Oh, wait, but guess what? I ordered two new brushes the other day from somewhere. Um, let me know in the comments if you can guess which brushes I ordered. I don't need more brushes for this, I'm sure, um, but I wanted them. But I'll show you them soon and I'll tell you why. Um, not only did I want them, but I, 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 felt, I felt I needed to get them. Um, but I'll show you them soon. Let me know if you can guess which brushes I've got. I'm very excited about them. Um, so we're just doing squiggly, you know, I'm not putting in, there's no particular uh, method or technique, that's the word, technique to the way I'm ombreing these together. Pull the red down into the orange and then squiggle, just squiggle. But because they do go into each other so well, you don't really need to put too much effort in. And because it's a fox and there's fur, it doesn't, you know, it doesn't matter if it's a perfect ombre. It's probably better if it is a bit sort of textured looking, you know, some streaky bits. That's fine. Um, I just felt like making it a bit, a bit ombre. It's in an ombre kind of mood. And I think I found that autumnal colours or rich colours, bright colours, rich colours. I really like to ombre together just because I think it looks nice. Do you think it looks nice? I do. Okay, are we done with that? No. Oh, yes, yeah, so we're going to ombre on the ears as well. We are going to put um, white in the ears. And I kind of lose the ombre here because it's such a small space. But I figured it'd be easier to ombre a triangle this size than it would be to ombre a narrow V-shaped border around the white bits that we're going to put in. So we'll put white on top. But we have to cure that first and then I'm using white gel paint to fill in everywhere else. The picture I was looking at, um, should I, let me find it because I don't like to just put the names on the screen. I would like to say it. Let's see if we can find it. Do I still have the picture? Nail inspo folder. No, screenshots. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Um, ran... Rania Zima. Rania Zima. I'll, um, oh yeah, and then Ran, oh, that's Pinterest. On Pinterest, she's Rania TZ, um, but I'll see if I can find her Instagram. If I have found it, I would have put it earlier on in the video. Um, yeah, her, her fox, cuter than mine, um, and she did some sort of black ombre around the top of the ears, which I really like. Uh, obviously, stopped looking at the picture. <laughs> after a while um, and she she's used to them look but but she's used some gray to do shading on the white bits which I should have done because I want to put the whiskers next to the nose but I didn't do so I thought I'll put them on top of a matte top coat and they'll stand out even though they're going to be on white um but that was not the case. Um, <laughs> that was flawed logic. So I end up putting just no whiskers, but just making some kind of tufts of um, white at the either side of the face. It doesn't make sense. Um, maybe use, I should have used a, a polish white as opposed to the gel paint white. And then when I did want to do whiskers on the polish white, the gel paint will be even whiter white. So it would have showed up more, maybe? Or I should have just copied the picture better, done some frigging shading in the right places. But that's okay. This is my version. It's fine. So the ears will bring the bottom of these triangles up to in line with the shape of the head, the outline, well, the, the outline that doesn't exist yet, of the head. And they were sat a bit more to the outside of the ear than the inside. So we'll pop those on and then we'll give that a full cure as well. I'm looking at her picture now and it's really annoying me because it's so much cuter than mine. So I'm going to stop looking at it. <laughs> Problem solved. So now we'll outline using the black gel paint and obviously the um, little um, curve that we had at the bottom of the face is now part of the face. Um, yeah, <laughs> that we did at the beginning. 
because it's white we now sort of have to re-outline it as part of the face so we'll go around that and everything else in black little ears and I, I do end up thickening making these lines thicker because when I got to outlining the body my lines were thicker and instead of wiping it off and doing them thinner I just thought we'll just make the rest of them th thicker as well I think because the colors are um, because I used a, a dark sort of red at the outside the part of the ombre I maybe the thicker lines did work well because you could see them better you know that's just an excuse I just couldn't be bothered to wipe them off and do them thin <laughs> so the tail little zigzags where his her I think it's a her actually because we're going to add glitter so it's a girl fox what should we call her something f something f Phoebe doesn't begin with an F. <laughs> Let me know in the comments. We need fox names. Um, so now we're outlining the V in the middle, but we're not going to take it right down to the bottom of the chin because we're going to do a little curve there and a little curve there. And then we'll just do a sort of circle nose, triangle, a triangular circle, a soft triangle. There we go. And then, oh, so the outline on the head at the bottom of the ears it didn't completely cross over the ears it stopped on the inside of the white bits the inside end of the white bits of the ears the triangles in the ears um and then we outlined the white triangles and now we're doing two little oh drawing in the middle we'll wipe that off two little u shapes upside down u shapes for eyes which took me several minutes of doing and redoing because I just just wasn't happy with them at all. Um, now we're going to use this, and I haven't edited this properly because that should have been when we first used it, but never mind. Night on Mars again, and we're going to add some of this to the um, fox, fox, but we're going to add it to the red sections and just fade it over onto the orange and then we will we will top it with matte which was the plan for it to be matte um and have the glitter matte because i did the fox first because i had no idea what to do but i know i wanted to do something autumnal because of the colors and um, we're curing this now so then I saw this fox and I thought, oh, I like that fox. The rest of the set was a bit too complex for the amount of time I had. So I thought if I do the fox, maybe by the time I finish painting it, I'll have come up with an idea for the rest of them. Oh, I matte topped and I've realised I'd forgot the arm line. So I did that in black gel paint, cured it, and then went over just that in matte. Because I didn't want to re the whole nail. So I just went over that line in matte. And now we're going to add some little white highlights just on bits that poke out the back the top of the head curve of the tail and bits of the ears what was I saying oh yeah I didn't know what I was going to do and then thought if I do the fox first it will I'll channel some kind of creative something um not that it's particularly creative the rest of the set but it came to me whilst I was doing the fox and these are the whiskers, which are in the wrong place. But, uh, yeah, it's fine. Okay, now I have... We've done a highlight on the nose. I've added top coat, shiny top coat, to the glitter area, which wasn't the plan. But I have, between doing that, I did the leaves with the fox's matte and then thought, oh, the leaves look nice shiny. Shall I add, sh shall I add shiny? to the fox so I added it just to the glittery parts and just kind of faded it onto the mat not sure how I feel about it but kind of love it kind of don't know whether that was a good choice but it's done so now we are taking night on Mars and we've done a big strip across the top and then another strip just below it and we're going to fade that um, lower strip down so just pull down from the strip and then pull down from the bit that you've pulled down and then keep going like that and with glitters that are in a clear sort of gel sort of gel gel um 
then they fade they fade really easy they're really easy to sort of blend out and have they kind of just disappear themselves if you start to pull it down but I did want to bring this quite far down just because the glitter is so nice that I thought well the further down we go the more of it we'll see so I'm adding um, I added a couple of little dots there of polish just because they were in sort of sparse areas and then spread those out and then I will oh there there um, I will take the top bit you see where it's kind of shrinking away from the very top of the nail I'll go back and I'll make sure that covers the top before I cure it and then once I I mean this is a lot of faffing um, but it's fun faffing nail faffing is just fun a good old fun faff I love it and um, so I'll cure that once I've finally finished faffing oh my goodness finally finished fun faffing I will cure it didn't like that bit go away and then I'm going to add a bit more to the top bit just the top um, and then cured that I just wanted it a bit more um, full at the top and then we're shiny topping and then curing is that the last one maybe not sure one two three oh yeah we did two leaves two leaves this one the fox and the bling yes and that is it i was i was worried that the hollowness the beauty of this wasn't going to show very well on camera so we kind of wiggle it around for some time just to make sure and then this is all of them together i hope you like them i like them i love the leaves i love the fox i do actually i think i love all of these um, I love the colours together. It's nice to do autumny colours on a cream background because it kind of keeps it all bright. Um, the sparkles from Crystal Parade are just insane. Insane. Go and check them out um, using the link in the description because there's a code there. I hope you like this set. Let me know what you think in the comments below. Name the fox. Um, I appreciate you being here so, so much. I really do. If you like it, give it a thumbs up and hit that subscribe button. I will see you in the next one. Have a lovely day. Bye. Say bye.